Hello, fellow court reporters. As you may know, this is case number 16, 1,460 words on the subject of drowning at 220 words per minute. Ready? Let's write. Question May, how old are you? Answer 18. Question on June 1st, will you tell the jury where you were? Answer, I was at this girl's summer camp with Marilyn and a bunch of girls that were with me. Question, when did you arrive at the camp? Answer, I think it was the 28th of June, about 11 o'clock. Question, were there, was there a group of girls arriving at that time? Answer, we all came together. We were all on the train. We met at the station. Question, what did you do when you arrived at the camp? Answer, we were told to get together under a tree and then they gave us our instructions. Question, were you still in your silly clothes? Answer, yes, we were. Question, do you recall the first time that you met Marilyn? Answer, yes, we were assigned to a group with a counselor. 10 to 12 girls were assigned to a counselor. So we said hi and we spoke together about who we would like to room with because two girls were in a room. Question, was that the first time you met Marilyn? The day of your arrival? Answer, yes, it was. Question, you, you say that Marilyn was one of those girls assigned to your group. Is that right? Answer, yes, she was. Question, about how old was Marilyn? Answer, she was 18. Question, were all the girls who had selected their partners assigned to room in the same cabin? Answer, yes, they were. Question, I show you a photograph and ask whether that is a view of the cabin and the casino and the beach. Answer, yes, it is. Question, is this photograph shown here on this postcard a fair representation of the side of the cabin and the beach as of that particular time? Answer, it is, but it does not show the whole thing. Question, but it shows the side. Is that right? Answer, yes, it does. Question, I show you exhibit two and ask whether or not there is a ladder to the platform shown in that photograph from the water answer I don't see the ladder but I know where it should be question the cabin that you were assigned to what was that known as answer the casino or the dining room question how many feet did the casino extend into the water say at high tide answer I would say about 25 feet question is there a walk beside the casino jutting out into the water answer yes there is question was there anything beyond the walk extending out into the water answer there were rocks extending out question this accident happened about four o'clock in the afternoon didn't it answer yes question about when before that did the group me answer right after we had a big pillow fight question was there a council president at that time answer well no she came in later on question will you tell us what she said answer she asked us what we would like to do so some said they would like to go swimming and the rest of us wanted to write letters home question the girls in that group who wanted to go swimming did they raise their hand or how did they let that be known answer they raised their hand question was Marilyn one of those girls answer yes question at low tide could you see the bottom from the stand answer no question do you know how many girls were swimming from that group answer about four question immediately before the accident where were you answer I was sit writing letters in the casino question was there anyone with you answer yes Sandy question just how were you writing answer I was curled up in a chair I I was looking out occasionally question you were facing the window answer yes from that position you described could you look out the window answer yes question there was an accident was there not answer yes question what did you see immediately before the accident did you see anyone out there answer yes I, there were a few girls out there question was Marilyn one of them answer yes she shouted to me question what did you see her do not at the time of the accident but before answer she was motioning to me to watch her so I did question do you know whether she dove a couple of times before that answer no I saw her jump in because she she was wet. I didn't see her the first time, so she called me the second time. Question you, she asked you to watch her dive. Is that right? Answer, yes. Question, do you remember what she said? Answer, hey, look, May, I'm diving. Watch me. I was in the middle of my letter, so I just looked down, and before I knew it, everybody was screaming. Question, when you looked up, she was not on the platform, was she? Answer, that is right. Question, you say someone was screaming. Is that right? Answer, yes. Question, those people who were screaming, were they in the water or on the platform? Do you know? Answer, the girls who were screaming were on the platform. Question, were they counselors or were they girls who had to the camp. Let us call them campers. Answer, they were campers. There were no counselors at all on the boardwalk. Question, what did you do when you heard these teenagers screaming? Do you recall what they screamed? Answer, yes, she is drowning. Help. Question, did they mention anyone's name? Did they say Marilyn or did they just say she is drowning? Answer, they screamed Marilyn. Question, what did you do? Th then answer I ran over to the other window and I saw her floating kind of rumpled up question with respect to the window that you had been writing at where was Marilyn floating answer I don't know whether she jumped or dove in but it was in front of my window because I saw her there motioning to dive in question when these kids were screaming Marilyn is drowning what did you do answer I immediately got up took off my red sweater because it was very tight on me I jumped on the chair to the windowsill and then on to the boardwalk I saw nobody was around, so I jumped into the water. Question, how far from the side of the platform was Marilyn at that time? 
how, how far out into the water? Answer, a little further than this desk, about 10 feet away because I half swam and half ran. Question, what were you doing? Taking steps and walking? Answer, yes. Question, you are indicating the motion of a breaststroke? And question, yes, I was too excited to swim. I just ran and swam. Question, were there any counselors around at that time? Answer, no, because I was screaming and nobody came to help except the campers, my girlfriend, Sandy, and another girl. Question, when you got to Maryland, what did she do? Answer, at first when I went in, she was motionless. And then, when I began to grab hold of her, she started to struggle against me, so I smacked her. Question, you slapped her in the face? Answer, yes, I did, and she stopped for a little while. I took her over to the ladder, and she started to struggle a little more. Then I gave her another smack. Then, as we started to go up the ladder, we fell because nobody was there to help me. Then my friend had come over, and we started up the ladder again. Question, what happened next? Answer, my friend started to help, but I slipped because I had on high heels. Question, how were you dressed that day? Answer, I had on a skirt and the red sweater. I had a wrist watch and my girlfriend's shoes. Question, what do you mean by her shoes? Answer, you know, these beach shoes, they wear colored. Question, wedges. Answer, sort of a wedge, sort of a college heel and a fancy top, a braided top, sort of a beach shoe. Question, was it open or lace? Answer, open heels, just a little piece covering the back. Question, you had borrowed her shoes? Answer, yes, I did, my watch and an ankle bracelet. Question, did you dive in with all this on except the sweater? Answer, no, not exactly. Question, do you recall how deep the water was? Do you remember that? Answer, yes, it was. I should say chest high. Question, I after both you and Marilyn fell, did you start going up the ladder again? Answer, yes, I did. Question, you say Sandy was there. Was, there, was she there to help you the second time? Answer, yes, she was on her stomach trying to grab us. Question, did you see anyone coming then? Answer, then I saw our counselor. She was taking off her jewelry. Question, taking off her what? Answer, she was taking off her watch, her whistle, and her shoes. Then I said, why don't you help me? She said, I have to take my things off. Then I said, then she said, May, do you need any help? Question, did you answer her? Answer, I told her to please keep away from me. Question, did you finally lift Marilyn up to the platform? Answer, sent, they helped me with another girl. Question, and your counselor, did she help you? Answer, no. She just stood there and watched. Then the other girls ran over and more counselors. Question, where was Marilyn left lying? Answer, half on the ladder and half on the dock. Question, what part of her body was on the dock? Answer, up to her spine. Question, you mean her legs were over the edge of the dock? Answer, yes. At this time, I hollered. Give her artificial respiration, and they pushed me away. Question, did they tell you to go inside? Answer, yes. Question, and did you go? Answer, no. We gave her artificial respiration. Question, and was that effective? Was it effective? Answer, no, it was not.